Hello everybody. I'm here with part seven or the final flip through of my Surreptitious Society of Steampunk Poochies. This was one of my favorite journals to make. Um, okay, let's start. On the cover, I have Lucky, who was the first member of the society. And this is his owner. And the cover is faux leather with some soft mold pieces that I colored with waxes. The closure is a clip with chain. The spine, this is strips of coffee dyed paper, faux leather, faux leather on the back with a nameplate for the owner. And it has three signatures and it's about five and a half by eight and a half. Okay, the journal starts with a story. And this is the girl looking out over the rainbow bridge, wondering what happens to her, what happened to her puppy when he passed. How it all began. Lucky, no, come back, I love you. Don't leave me, please. Lucy pleaded with despair in her voice. I could feel her tears falling on my fur. I could hear my human, but I couldn't move. I wanted to open my eyes and give her a big wet smooch, but couldn't. I kept hearing her voice as if in some kind of echo chamber. Lucky, lucky, I love you so much. I love you too, Lucy. I wolfed back at her, but she couldn't hear me. Lucy had been my human for a long time, 91 years to be exact. That is 13 in human years. We had been through so much together. She used to tell me all her secrets, like when she thought she fell in love, when she got in trouble, and other things that she didn't want to tell her mom and dad. She used to take me exploring with her and hoist me in a basket into her treehouse. We would catch bugs and lizards and then she would, that she would keep in her special bug box. I always made her smile when she was sad. I promised to always keep her safe. Who is going to take care of Lucy now that I won't be around? Then, all of a sudden, I saw a stream of bright lights. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. The colors had a weird force that lifted me and carried me above the ground. I was floating. Whoa, such a strange feeling. It was like I was entering another universe. I heard strange wolves in the distance. Here comes Lucky. Woof, woof, woof. Welcome to the surreptitious society of steampunk poochies. I was suddenly able to move. I felt like a puppy again. My body didn't hurt anymore. There were poochies of all types and sizes. Some had legs or arms made of metal pieces. Some had odd machine-like eyes. This colorful society was scary but wonderful at the same time. A boxer named Horatio came over to me and gave me a huge bone. Welcome to our world. You're safe here and we'll be able to watch over your human at all times. You will never want for anything. This clandestine society of steampunk poochies is your home now. So that's how, what I based the journal on was this secret society of steampunk poochies where our poochies go when they pass from this earth. Okay, so that opens up and we have, I have about six flaps that are actually pockets. And in the pockets on some of them, there are some tags with places to write on the back. The 
These are wonderful postcards I purchased from Zazzle. And most of the poochies came in the garb that their owners dressed them up as in. Okay, and then on this side, we have a few poochies hanging out. They look kind of sad. They're brand new in the society. The love of a dog is a pure thing. He gives you trust, which is total. You must not betray it. Betray it. And I have three tabs in the journal made from bottle caps. And there's pictures of steampunk poochies inside. Dangling from the side of each of the tabs are angels. Then I have printed the Surreptitious Society of Steampunk Poochies. These stickers here I got from Dollar Tree. And then I embossed some black cardstock and colored it with waxes to give it the look of bricks. Over on this side, dogs do speak, but only to those who know how to listen. And then I have a tag in there with a cutout. And inside the little tag, there's a little saying that opens up and let's see what it says dogs are wise they crawl away into a quiet quiet corner and lick their wound and do not rejoin the world until they are whole once more okay and this poochie was number nine in entering the society. And he used to drive around with his owner on a Vespa, on the back of a Vespa. This is the map of the society of where they live, near the water, near the boats, near the docks. I have all kinds of paper in these three signatures, all sizes, all types. I'm a writer in my journal, so I love to have a lot of writing space. Okay, here I have two tabs that open up, and this is a pocket. Um, I used alcohol ink on it. This uh, little poochie was number 23 to the society, and this was this poochie's owner. You open that up, and over on this side, you have a little place where you can write on the back. And this puppy was found. And I have a coffee dyed, coffee lace dyed envelope. A dog will teach you unconditional love. If you can have that in your life, things won't be too bad. And in that, that has a little, another little tiny journal, places to write. There's a little tab that sticks out. You open that up, and it has a little Rolodex pocket, and inside that pocket has a card that you can write on. This opens up. That's a guest check that has printed poochies and a place to write. So that goes first, then this, then this, and this closes up. And these images were by um, Night Pixie. I'll have to look it up. I'll put it in the link. And we keep going. In the center of each signature, I have tissue paper with the image of a dog. And these were from Zazzle as well. More things to write on. And this is a large cluster. And in back of the large cluster, there's a tag. The cute image of a puppy scratching his ear. 
Go Where Your Heart Takes You, place to write on the back. And here, just a little mini cluster with this puppy's owner, previous owners before he came to the society. And I have the little dog's places just to give it some interest. Here I printed on vellum bags, added some cards in them. Another tab, a little white dog, another bag. Love this card, more belly rubs, bigger bone, bigger something. <laughs> Steak everywhere, every day, longer walks, cats stink. So there's a couple of postcards in there to write on. There's another one. And here's a little card you can write on the inside. It has images on both sides. And this beautiful coffee dyed lace paper is from Vintage Style Snippets. Check her. Um, Etsy shop out. I like this scratch a dog. <laughs> this little bibs and bobs to write on. An adorable little puppy dog. And then one with a camera. And they have some vintage books that had the theme of a dog. And here I have some cutouts. Behind each cutout, I have a keepers, finders, and loss. So these were their previous, previous humans. And the numbers again signify when they entered the society. Another tab. This is of a, looks like a bulldog. And I love this. And what I did is I sliced in his jacket and then I added other, other pieces. He entered the society and he has number 45 and that was his owner. Another bag with another guest check. Cute picture of Frenchie. And he remembers being dressed up like a king. She a queen. Here I have a puppy peeking out. And then inside there's a postcard that you can see through the envelope. Another little puppy peeking around. And another tissue, a little crunchy. And I love this. A little looks like a chihuahua in a champagne glass, drinking champagne. And here's a couple more cards. And in the back, there's a little poochie looking in and another strip, the Surreptitious Society of Steampunk Poochies. And that is all. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. This will be going in my Etsy shop pretty soon, in a couple day, another day, I would think. Thanks for watching.
a final flip through and y'all have a great one. Bye.